begin 10 o'clock with breaking news, a shooting on a bus in Baldwin Park. And let's get right to KKL News reporter Jeff Nguyen, who is live in Baldwin Park with the very latest on the search for that suspect, Jeff. Pat and Susie, off the top, we should tell you that this investigation is still very active right now. On top of that, the suspected shooter still on the loose. Let me go ahead and step aside right now for you as you get a look of that bus that is parked at the side of the 10 freeway. You are looking at the westbound lanes at Puente Avenue, and that right there is actually a bus stop. It sits on a road that is right next to the freeway. Let's go ahead and roll some video from earlier. From our chopper, police officers could be seen going through a Foothill Transit bus. Police tell us around 6 tonight, two passengers got into a fight on the bus. The driver started to pull over to try to de-escalate the situation. One of the passengers pulled out a gun, fired several shots, and an innocent female bystander who was not involved in the fight was injured. We're told she's in her 50s. She was taken to a hospital, but her injuries are not life-threatening. And the suspected shooter, while well, he bolted from the bus, which had pulled over. We are in the process of trying to identify that suspect. After the altercation uh, between two passengers on the bus and the shots that rang out after that, that suspect fled the scene and is still outstanding. The bus has multiple security cameras, and uh, immediately after the incident this evening, our team was dispatched. We were able to turn that video over to the CHP to be able to do their work. And because this is an ongoing investigation, police are not sharing what was captured on video. We're told about 20 people were on the bus when things did calm down. They were placed on a second vehicle and taken where they needed to go. We did speak to a family member of the bus driver. We are told that he is 55 years old and he's been working for Foothill Transit for about six years now. And we are also told that he was not hurt. Now, the CHP also tells us that some neighboring police agencies did bring in several police dogs. The reason for that, they wanted the police dogs to try to catch a scent of the suspect and try to track him. But right now, that person is still missing. For now, we are reporting live in Baldwin Park. Jeff Nguyen, KCOW News. All right, Jeff, thank you very much for that update.